Hey, Cancer. <laughs> so the song I was picking up for your reading was, uh, I can't breathe when you talk to me. I can't breathe when you're touching me. I suffocate when you're away from me. So much love you take from me. I'm going out of my mind. And yes, I slide her songs on this station. <laughs> on this station. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, I saw their song so I can get the message across to my viewers. But what's up? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. We'll be building up the foundation of this relationship. Then we'll get uh, two tarot decks, one for you, one for your person. And see what's the energy vibe. But beloved, what's going on with Cancer and their person at this time? What's in the foundation? Thank you so much. So we have wisdom, knowledge, understanding. So, Cancer, either this is you or this is your person, but someone here is very wise. Someone here ha ooh, has been taught by the angels, taught by God. Um, whoever this is, this person possesses a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. And, yeah, <laughs> somebody can't breathe, but somebody suffocating like crazy. <laughs> I suffocate when you're away from me. So much love you take from me. Then we have uh, gratitude. We have celebrations and social occasions. And we have connections. Way too many connections. Way too many damn people. What's interesting for your um for you and your person's energy cancer is that we have relationships here with celebration and social occasions. Of course, you can't celebrate really with um, without other people. I mean, you can, but with the social occasion, you could have met this person at like an event or when you was out or something like that. And uh, this connection was supposed to be with this gratitude, supposed to be a blessing for both of you guys. But something happened here. Somebody made another connection elsewhere or something like that. And it brought this foundation down to its knees. But let's see, let's see, what's, um, what's stemming up from this, uh, foundation, beloved? What's the energy that's stemming up from the foundation for cancer and their person? <laughs> the masculine can't understand the feminine for some reason. <laughs> the way this guy got this, his hand on his forehead, like, man, I just don't understand you. <laughs> but let's see. Oh. So we have the Ice King. So you could could be dealing with the air sign. Or someone just went cold within this connection. You have fun times. So something about this relationship had had this aspect of celebration, fun, um, um, going out, uh, getting dressed up, just being together. Like it was fun to be with this person. It wasn't no boring relationship. Oh my goodness. We got a dating queen here. Oh my goodness. And then we have a wallflower. This is just so interesting. Because while somebody is out living their best life, somebody waiting like a <laughs> Somebody is in this waiting mode. You know, whoever this dating queen was, this was the person that was keeping their options open, that was uh, building other connections elsewhere. Because with all these hands here, this is a lot of people that's involved in this situation. Not only the hands on the connection card, but the hands on the dating queen card. There's just too many people involved. So let's see here. What's underneath the surface of this connection for cancer and their person? Mr. Can't Breathe or Mrs. Can't Breathe? <laughs> what's, what's underneath the surface? Thank you so much, beloved. Wow. The Nine of Fires. Somebody was guarded anyways with this ice king energy like their fun times was fake because they were still protecting themselves for some reason protecting their heart or something the two of fire yeah not making a choice not making a decision in the world now with this world card somebody could be a lot different from this person with this wisdom what I'm getting for this world card is there somebody that's really in the world really cares about what the world thinks whoever this dating queen energy is they care about worldly things you know 
but let's see what's crown what's um what's on the surface of this relationship please what's on the surface whoever wasn't making a decision i feel like that's what's causing someone to be a wildflower kind of um i don't know not really enjoying their life not really um um enjoying themselves that's the mr i can't breathe mr and mrs i can't breathe what's what's crying what's in the um what's on the surface of this connection please thank you so much Alrighty. so we have integrity wow now this is a powerful card to come out integrity and what what else self-love you know when you think about a person of integrity you know, they're going to still be themselves, but they're going to do a lot of things with integrity. They're not going to try to be deceptive or something like that. They hold themselves to a higher standard, right? But if someone's dealing with these self-love issues, this is going to be a person where it's hard to have that level of integrity. This is going to be someone that I think is in kind of this dating queen mode, you know, because when you don't love yourself, you're looking for a love outside of yourself. And that may have affected this relationship in some way, you know, but what's crowning this reading for cancer and their person, please. What's crowning? All right. So two energies want to come out. So we have, damn, grateful and free. So this could be you, Cancer. You're grateful that you're free from this connection. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Can't Breathe, they're not. <laughs> they're not, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, so let's go ahead and get to the tarot person. So we'll be using these for your person. Do I want to use these for the Cancer's person? Mm, I'm going to use... Uh, if I can grab them. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. These almost didn't want to be used. So I'm going to use these for your person. And I am going to use these for you. So let's go ahead and start with your person energy. And kind of see what's going on with them at this time. They're in this Mr. I can't breathe, Mrs. I can't breathe energy. Like, so, like I said, someone, someone was living their best life and not, not having any respect, I feel like, for this relationship. Like, it wasn't about a relationship. It was about them. They were the primary um, uh, subject in this um, love affair, in this love affair, huh? <laughs> in this situation. Well, let's see. What's up with Cancer Person, please? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for Cancer's Person. We have... Mm, judgment. Something Going through some type of awakening. You know? This is why they're in that wallflower energy. I feel like this is their wisdom energy as well. That's coming through. Because when you go through awakening, you're definitely becoming wiser and more knowledgeable to things... Um, that aren't superficial. What's in Cancer's energy for their person, please? Thank you so much. The letters N, F as in Frank, T as in Tom can be significant, G as in George, S as in Sam. Wow. And you got the Ten of Pentacles, Cancer. Oh, let's see where this is going. So for your person, we have the Empress. Well, your person ain't slacking. We have temperance. We have the magician. We have the eight of cups. We have the ten of cups. And we have the sun. You, Cancer, have the star, the dating queen, <laughs> the high priestess. Ooh. The Knight of Swords. What's up with this energy, Cancer? The Five of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. And you, the King of Cups. So let's go ahead and start with your person's energy. You know, Cancer, 
something something was misaligned in this connection because there was a power struggle with you and your person everybody always wanted to be right had to be right and this created arguments this re re uh, created conflicts within the connection i mean when you look at this empress card she's with the emperor i guess those would be like the pages that she's with but it's like a power struggle you know this could also be a twin flame connection with the way them um ducks or whatever are flying but i feel like no one wanted to release their grasp to have the power no one wanted to be like this person of integrity that's just like okay you right even if the person was wrong just being like okay you right it was like always this power struggle between you and your person it wasn't ever balanced in this situation because you know um the egos were at play to a certain extent you know your person is showing up as an empress um cancer so this is definitely someone who who is in that wise energy that's very nurturing very um very humble very giving of themselves but i feel like you know somehow this relationship became toxic and y'all can never get that balance back you know, when you look at this temperance card, this is like Adam and Eve and being tempted. You know, got LD Alablo that's crowning the reading. So I feel like, you know, well, y'all, this relationship became toxic in some damn type of way. I don't know if it's because this person was being a dating queen, keeping their options open, keeping, um, having other connections outside the situation. But it's like, it's like something was drawing this person elsewhere someone was making this person feel like they weren't fully accepted by you cancer i feel like um i feel like with this magician energy i feel like they were pulling out all the tricks that they had trying their best and whatnot but something something just wasn't going right i feel like because there was other energies involved you know because it's it's like I don't know. It's like all this person want is to be happy. And I feel like they wanted to be happy with you, Cancer. But something, something about this connection, like, I feel like this person still want to be with you, still want to try with you. But it's like, it's not happening. So this person is really like leaning on their spiritual side, leaning on God, leaning on the angels to try to help them with this situation because it's just became too much. They can't breathe. They can't um, sleep. They suffocate when you away from them. This is Mr. or Mrs. Suffocate because I see you over here, Cancer. You're in this star energy and I feel like Cancer, you might be this dating queen. Take the energies how they apply but you might be in this dating queen energy and just you know um trying to figure out different connections or maybe you never really closed your options or something maybe you kept your options open or maybe you kept like a baby daddy on the side or <laughs> i don't know but um with this high priest energy it's like you followed your intuition to a certain extent regarding this connection but one, one thing i don't get about you cancer that's why this energy is this Cancers don't hate me. But is this how you made your person feel? Did you belittle your person or something? Look how this person got their head down. And this person is standing up over them. I mean, this is a powerful card to implicate the way that a person made someone feel. You know? And because of that, I feel like this is how you might be now. Like, you probably used to have a lot of fun, um, be with this person, um, be a part of whatever they had going on in their life. And maybe you feeling a little left out. I do see that you, um, that you're trying to concoct some type of plan to get back with this person, Cancer, because you're showing up as yourself, this King of Cups energy. You do have love for this person, but it is just so hard in this king of cups energy to really express yourself the way you want to express it cancer alrighty so let's go ahead and see what else you need to know about this person cancer what's going on with cancer and their person please what does 
What does this cancer need to know about this person, please? What else? <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Hey, is that the way? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So they have the two of cups. You. The two of swords. The seven of swords. Dang. Seven of Swords want to drop on this Knight of Swords and this Five of Pentacles. Mm. And the Sun that wants to be in reverse. You know, Cancer, this person really loves you. They really, um, they see you as this person who they had a beautiful connection with, someone that, like, they can see. The way I'm getting it is before this person met you, Cancer, they seen, I think it's in the Bible, I forget what um, part of it, but it's like they see people as trees. They didn't see people clearly. They're just seeing them, people like all the same. They all look like them trees to me. But then you came along, Cancer, and this person could fully see you as you, as this person, as this King of Cups. Like, having a lot of love to give, being very passionate, being very um, loving, you know, but you ignore them. You ignore them, and it's like... Whatever that this was that you were feeling, you ran away from it. It wasn't something you want to feel. And it left this person feeling some type of way, Cancer. It's, it's your energy, Cancer, with this person is very sad, <laughs> just to say the least. Like, this, either this person sad or you sad, Cancer. One or the other, or you both sad. But, beloved, let's go ahead and get a um, message. Go ahead and close out this reading. Thank you. I am free. It's a beautiful card. So today I find the veil of my ego has lifted and a vision of my new life has appeared. Now I am focused on my inner growth. I listen only to the voice of my heart and remain steadfast in the energy of love that I find there. I am now free of duality, fear, and judgment. I move forward on my path to inner peace. Something was keeping you bound, Cancer. Whatever this thing is for you, but it's implying that now you're free from whatever that was. It could have just been that ego, you know, and this dating queen energy, this self-love energy. Could have been those energies, Cancer. But either way, my beloved, that's the reading I have for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next read. Take care.